Now, here's your Storm Tracker weather forecast with Jason Laird. Good morning, everybody. Hopefully your Monday's off to a great start. Man, talk about a nice Sunday throughout central Montana. I made it out into the yard to pick up the leftover landmines from the dog this weekend. It was a good day to do that. 26 degrees in Gray Falls right now. Little bit of a breeze out of the northwest, making it feel more like 18 degrees. Opportunity Bank ICAM in the capital. 36 degrees, a uh, little less in the way of wind. We're going to warm up nicely all across the board. These light clouds across the area will continue to burn up for at least half the day. That's going to allow temperatures to get well into the 50s this afternoon, flirting with 60 in the capital today, well into the uh, mid 60s there in eastern Montana. So this afternoon, pretty much every single day this week, we'll open up the door and present the chance for a couple of isolated scattered showers. Might even see a thunderstorm or two, so very isolated, very sporadic, but again, kind of splash and dash showers pretty much every afternoon this week. A little bit better concentration of that rain down into south central Montana and then clearing up overnight with clear skies tonight. We'll be cooling off to about 34 degrees in Great Falls, 35 in the capital, low to mid 30s along the High Line and eastern Montana as well. Tomorrow day is going to start off great. We're going to see temperatures uh, very similar to what we're tracking today. Then late into the afternoon, we're going to start to see some building clouds and a little pocket of colder air is going to kind of back door into the state come Tuesday evening, and that's going to keep us a little bit cooler on Wednesday. But before that cold front moves in tomorrow, still going to hit 58 degrees in Great Falls, 59 in the capital. A couple of low 60s there throughout the eastern plains as well. Further out by Wednesday now, that colder air is going to start to move out. Now we've got a nice ridge of high pressure off the coast that is going to help kind of dictate our forecast. It's going to hold a lot of that moisture at bay, but it's just far enough off that that jet stream is going to move up north and it's going to kind of drop down right over top of the state. So come Thursday into Friday, nah, starting to get some clouds across the area. Then on Saturday will be the best potential for seeing mid Maybe a wintry mix. I'm anticipating more in the way of rain. Reason behind that temperature should stay warm enough, but looks to clear out just in time for Easter Sunday with just a couple of lingering flurries over the mountains there. So with that said, here's how it all plays out over the next seven days. 57 afternoon showers today. A cold front's going to move through Saturday. Uh, excuse me, Saturday. How about Tuesday night? That's going to keep us a little bit cooler through about Wednesday. And again, possible shot of moisture there on Saturday. Next couple of days in the capital. 59 degrees carbon copy tomorrow, slightly cooler Wednesday, and not a bad couple of days to follow there, Keeley.